Hello there YouTube, this is Necrostevo and I have something a little bit different with a roulette battle today. Uh, today's match of course is up against Better Ed than Smeg, so if you want to join the Smeghead Nation and uh, be awesome, I guess is the bottom line, you should go check out his channel. Uh, he uploads pretty entertaining stuff overall, so I would definitely give him a look. Uh, for this roulette battle, uh, I was a little bit concerned going into it because I had such a random team, but that's what you do roulette battles for. We did decide that the first numbers had to be our lead, so I'm starting off with a, uh, a Swords Dance Haxorus, whereas he had to start off with um, an Offensive Physical Empoleon. Uh, we also have kind of a little bit of synergy here between uh, Mandy Buzz um, and just the rest of his team where he can't really hurt Mandy Buzz too badly outside of maybe a Bolt Strike from um, Victini, which would suck. Uh, then I got Weavile, unfortunately not the one with Pursuit, but I also got Roserade, which I'm running a knife, nice powerful Leaf Storm on, my defensive Toxic Croak, the Terra Bilo that you saw back in the PPL, and then just the latest Tauros that I actually bred uh, with the Life Orb in, in um, Sheer Force Goodness. So I did have to start off with my Haxorus, and he starts off with Empoleon. I was expecting it to be defensive, but I should know better than that going up against him, because he always carries interesting sets. If I had Dragon Dance here, that would have been amazing, because he just, the best move he has is a knockoff, apparently, and that doesn't do that much damage. So uh, I see Life Orb, and it's like, oh, awesome, I get an Earthquake here, this is going to be great. Uh, I just clean take on Empoleon with the single hit. Very, very pleased at the start of that battle. Not too often I get that clean of a start. Now, unfortunately, he does have Victini. I could have switched in either of my Dark Types here, but I was afraid of the coverage move or the possible U-turn. So I just stayed in in case he decided to go for anything uh, interesting. Uh, he also might have had Glaciate, which I wouldn't have liked to spend uh, Manny Buzz's HP on. So I just I just stayed in there. Uh, so now I get to bring in Weavile. I was really hoping he'd stay in fearing the pursuit, but no such luck. As you go down in the Ma Mawile, and Mawile is basically the best Weavile check you can get. Um, not really caring about either of the stab type moves, and then Weavile's coverage move, Low Kick, doesn't do that much to Mawile. Plus, you have to deal with Intimidate on the way in. So, just not a good matchup there. I go out into Thornelius, expecting a play rough, but he just goes for Iron Head, which does make more sense. I was hoping he can go for play rough, expecting Mandy Buzz, expecting the um, Iron Head. But I do have Hidden Power Fire here, which is nice. I went for Sleep Powder because I forgot that Hypno is uh, a great counter to Thornelius. Because, uh, of course, the Leaf Storm is not going to do very much damage if he's especially defensive. But I did decide to stay in just on the off case chance that he went for a coverage move. And I get that opportunity to lay out some toxic spikes, so that's pretty nice. A Leaf Storm does a lot more damage than I expected it to. So that was nice too. I did opt for one layer of toxic spikes here because I thought one layer would help me out against this team more than two. I don't see any Pokemon in a roulette battle really staying in for too long. Uh, either because they get knocked out or because they switch out. So one layer is going to be better in the long term. Uh, it also works pretty well with Mandibuzz. Unfortunately, Mandibuzz is completely walled by his Clefable. I don't have Whirlwind on this set either. It's a Defog, Foul Play, Taunt, Roost set. So that's not particularly useful. I did taunt the Clefable, so that's a thing. Uh, yeah, Clefable, your, your mom smells like a, a Garboder. I don't know. What possible taunt would you have for Clefable? Something about... Uh, a moon landing being faked? I, I'm not sure. I'm really not sure. The point being, I didn't want to switch out into anything else here. Uh, I did need to make sure that he couldn't set up, which is why I didn't go for taunt. But I didn't want to switch into anything because I had nothing that really wanted to eat a moon blast. Um, and I guess you got a low roll on the first one because that second one actually finishes Mandibuzz off. So you thought you got a high roll on the second one. Uh, not really sure. But that's okay. We did a little bit of damage with foul play. Look, he's missing a tiny amount of HP. Look at that. Uh, Fortunately, I do have Terribilo, and even though it's a very, very bulky one, as we have seen before, Stab Gunk Shot just wipes out Clefable, which I'm really happy I didn't know predict there. I was very tempted to go for a bulk up or something, but that ended up being my best play. As Camera comes in, I'm fearing the Fire-type move because of my Dry Skin ability boosting the power of that move as it hits my Toxicroak, but I don't have anything that I want to switch in because he could go for a Ground-type, Fire-type, or a Rock-type move. Plus, it's Mega Camera, so he might have random coverage, such as Flash Cannon. But uh, Drain Punch does a decent chunk, and we find out that he's actually a bulky Mega Camera, more especially defensive, 
as Lava Plume fails to one hit KO my Toxic Crypt. I was so pleased with that. I was like, good job, Terra Bulo. We get to go for another Drain Punch, which sets us up for the delicious, just the tasty morsel of the double down situation. Toxic Crypt goes down, Camera Up goes down, and we have our first double down of the new year. I was very pleased. I was so pleased. Like, I, I'm sad that Toxic Crypt got knocked out, but we had to start the new year and our uploads with a double down. Hooray. Hooray. Uh, so I'm going to go out into Taros on the double down. I'm just going to keep saying double down because it's fun. I was praying that my Fire Blast hit here because if I miss, I didn't have anything for Mawile. But I hit and Mawile has terrible special defense. Even though I got a crit, I don't think it would have mattered because Mawile has terrible special defense. I had a Life Orb and Sheer Force boost there with, I think, um, 48 special attack EVs. So I was going to do something. Um, I do have Rock Slide for Victini, which is also nice, but Victini's base stats are nice and bulky, so I don't finish it off. I don't get the flinch, because you can't flinch with Sheer Force. Uh, Blue Flare takes me out, but that's okay, Tauros. You put us in a prime position to come in here and hopefully finish things up. Now, since Tauros is down, that leaves us with my Weavile in that final slot. Weavile is faster than Victini because we know he's not Scarf, which is nice. Just going to go straight for a very clean knockoff. Finish off Victini, and then that is going to be the game right after Weavile hopefully at least takes out Sinister Stamp, which of course is Hypno. Um, even if he had max defense, which I know he didn't based on how well he took that Leaf Storm, uh, knock off and poison damage, that's going to be enough here. Although poison damage wouldn't activate until after I got hit by a Drain Punch. So it's a good thing I took him out, otherwise it would have been unfortunate. Alright guys, hope you enjoyed that a little bit more lighthearted upload today. Be sure to go check out Better Red Than Smeg. And if you did enjoy it, hit the like button. I'll get some more relay battles going for you. Have a good day, guys. I'll talk to you later.